There are few games to be released in the past decade that are as beloved, hated, and industry-changing as From Software's 2011 hack-and-slash masterpiece, Dark Souls. With sky-high difficulty and unrivaled atmosphere, Dark Souls launched the Souls genre of games, as well as giving rise to numerous tropes now seen in other games. But with a game as expansive as this, there are things that some players have overlooked, so here are 10 things you missed in Dark Souls. It can be a bit intimidating to put together your first character, selecting their class and items and stats, but here's a little known fact, you aren't actually creating a new person, they're just an avatar in a video game and don't actually exist in the real world, bet that's a big relief. Dark Souls' iconic Asylum level is a great way to teach players the ins and outs of the game. But here's something you might not know. The Asylum used to be a state-of-the-art mental health care facility, until budget cuts during the Reagan administration reduced it to the crumbling heap you see now. With so many weapons in the game, why is it that so many veteran players swear by the Zweihander? Well, that might have something to do with the name. See, Zweihander is in fact German for this sword is the Dark Souls of large pointy things thus giving rise to one of the series' most endearing catchphrases. After braving the undead Berg, you come face to face with Dark Souls' first true boss, the Taurus Demon. But did you know that that's not actually an axe it's holding? Nope, it's the giant torn-off leg of a monster ostrich that was originally programmed in as the first boss. Nobody at From Software is sure where the Taurus Demon came from, it just appeared in the game's code one day. The main goal of the early portion of the game is to find and ring two Bells of Awakening. What do the bells symbolize? It's hidden deep within the lore, but the bells are actually metaphors for the endless desire for a $5 box at Taco Bell. This also explains why every single enemy, when dying, gives you a coupon code for 50 cents off of cinnamon swirls. It can certainly be a surprise the first time the player runs into the Great Serpent, Framped. But here's something you might not realize. All of Framped's animations were done by motion capture artist Andy Serkis. From Software merely had to stretch his body on a rack and set his feet on fire to get the facial expressions that they wanted. It can be a little hard to find the best item in the game, so here's a quick guide. If you follow this path down the Darkroot Basin, take out the enemies, and follow this path, you can find the item. A small note that says you're doing a great job, because at the end of the day, the best item of all is self-confidence. Sen's Fortress is perhaps the most infamous area in the game, but just who is this Sen? Well, in a 10 Things You Missed exclusive, we can confirm that Sen is actually the pet iguana of Guinevere, who built this mighty fortress because the local pet smart was sadly out of iguana cages. Dark Souls' most hated area is the Tomb of the Giants, a pitch-black maze of paths and enemies. But there's a hidden, practically unknown way to make it easier. Just go over here and turn the lamp on. Seriously, it brightens up the whole room and it really makes it feel so much cozier. Plus, it's a lovely conversation piece. The final battle of Dark Souls is against the Lord of Cinder, Gwyn. But here's a little fact that not many people know about him. Have you tried just talking to him? He's been so alone for so long and really doesn't have that many friends. It would really make his day if you could just... Oh. Uh, okay, scratch that last fact, I guess he doesn't want to talk. And now you know a little bit more about what some people consider to be the greatest game ever made. But even though it's a decade old, there's still so much to find in a game as deep as Dark Souls. Who knows what other notes of encouragement are still lurking out there. So sharpen your sword and prepare to die. And until next time, happy gaming! Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe for regular gaming videos two times a week from shows like Dollar Store Gaming, Game Boy Roulette, Retro Rapid Fire, and 10 Things You Missed. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.